authentication. Okay, so uh, one is broken authentication. So in our code, anyone can add, right? There's no one, no one checking authentication. And this is the allow anyone to do everything. It's usually not a great idea. Sometimes uh, people say, you know, but we're inside the company's computer, uh, this should be fine. Maybe, but some attackers, you know, um, <clears throat> um, can uh, come in the company and then through your service, because it's trusting now you're inside the company's computer, they can gain more credentials and do more harm than other things. So sometimes even inside uh, the company, we would like to, um, to do this. And there are many, many ways, right, to do it. We have basic authentication. If we're talking about HTTP, uh, we have basic authentication of two, JWT, OCD, and bearer tokens, and many, many, many more things. Uh, just don't, uh, uh, don't invent your own, right? Uh, th these things takes time to, uh, to figure them out. Uh, the joke is that everyone can make a encoding or a encryption that they can't break. But the secret for good encryption is that a lot of people are looking at it and trying to break it publicly. So you know it's good. So uh, do that. And the second thing is broken access control. Okay, so again, even if I had here uh, authentication, meaning only authenticated user can do operations, I don't check if this user is actually authorized to do that. And this is also very common. So take a database, for example. You would like to give your data scientist access to the database, but they would like just to read data from it. And you don't want them accidentally running uh, what uh, my script was doing with uh, drop tables and then um, killing the database. So you need to think also about uh, authorization or access control, who can do what. And there are libraries that can help you with that. Um, the two most common ones are access control list or role-based access control. Um, and there are libraries for both in Go and some of the web frameworks also will help you with that. Including uh, if you're working not with the web frameworks, but with gRPC and others, and there are solutions for each and every one of them. 